giving feedback on websites and images can sometimes be really difficult if you can't draw on them. This right here is WebVisio, which allows you to put a marker exactly where you want to give feedback and explain it. So let's check it out. So this is the WebVisio platform and overall I think the design looks great. There are some minor tweaks you can do, but it looks great. Then we have our different types of websites that I have already now used and played a little bit around with. And up here we can see where I have tasks assigned to me. So let's go back and let's maybe delete this project right here and then create it as a new one. When it is you create new projects, you can either enter a URL or you can add an image. For now, we will just enter a URL and right now it is preparing a screenshot. So you can see here on the screenshot, everything looks fine. There is an image of me, images of the blog post I have. So let's open up the project. Now what is happening is that it's loading a live version of the website. And you can see that it is now missing all of the images down here. So one thing I've noticed with WebVisio is that it doesn't load the images if you're using lazy load, which in 2022, hopefully a lot of websites are doing. But now let's just dive right in and show the core functionality of WebVisio, which is giving feedback. So let's say this text here, latest software reviews, I want to have that changed. What I do is I hover over this specific text and then I just click and then I say change the text. Let's change the text to recent software reviews. Here I can set how the priority of this task should be, low, normal, high. And then I just create it. I can also here attach a document or an image to it. I can tag someone if I want them to really focus on this or reply to me, or I can just create it as a normal task. Now when it's created, you can see here, there is a number here, number one, which is the first task. So if I go up here and I say this button here, let's change this to download e-paper. Again, change text in the title and create then now we have two comments and two tasks. So out here you can see that we have two open tasks. We have no in progress and none are done. What I can do with all of these comments or tasks is that I can assign them. So if I click on the change text number two here, then I can assign myself to it. So now I'm assigned to this task. I can then change it to be in progress if I'm working on it. And then you can see up here it is changing as well. So now we have one open and one in progress. One thing I really like about this being live and not just a screenshot is that I can see browser information. Sometimes we all know that a website can look differently in Safari compared to Chrome and even in Firefox. So having this browser info is really a great feature. We can also take a screenshot of the website here to have it saved exactly how it's looking right now. But that is the core functionality. Down here we can select multiple tasks if we want to work with that or we can just create a normal task without any comment or function to this specific website. Now one thing you can also do is you can enter browse mode. Browse mode is great if you want to give feedback on multiple pages in the same website. So you can see up here I have a menu so let's click on software review. What is happening now is that it's opening a new tab up here with the software review. So if I go back to the first tab, we still have our front page here with the two comments that I added. Right now this one is in progress. And up here we have another tab with the software reviews. Again, I can enter browse mode and then I can enter and open a third tab up here. I really like this because here you have one environment where you work with the same website on multiple pages. So here again, I can give feedback. I can say this title should be changed to something else. I can cancel this one. I can scroll down and give different types of feedback. If I want to check the responsiveness of the website, I can also here change to, let's say we want to see it on how it looks within iPad Pro. Maybe we want to see how it looks on an iPhone 11 Pro Max, just to see if it scales correctly. And right now it does. Let's enter browse mode. Then we can also test the menu. It is working. We can test the search. 
It is also working, but here you can see that the text is just too large. If I enter task mode again, let's click here and say make the text smaller on iPhone. In general, just mobile. Now there is a third task here. Let's enter browse mode again and close this one down. So now I have actually created a task on something that's hidden. So on this specific view to the right, it is a little bit difficult to see, but we always have the overview over here of all of the tasks. But what would be nice is that when I click on this specific task, it would then open up the search and then show me the task here. Small feature, but it would make it easier to use it. If you want, you can also rotate to see how it looks on landscape mode, or you can enter specific responsiveness here if you want to check a specific screen size that WebVisio does not have. We can also always refresh the project. So imagine that they have made some changes. Then you just refresh the project to confirm if they have done it correctly. Otherwise, you can share the project up here with whoever needs to act on these or also maybe give some feedback on the specific website. That is the core functionality and that is how you give feedback, whether you're using it on websites or on images. And again, you can see assigned to me because I have tasks in here assigned to me, then I can here go to the project via this menu. For each project, we also have settings. And under each of these settings, you can see that we have the web visual script. And what they do is that they recommend that you enable this script if your website is not loading properly. And as you saw with the images, I should maybe try and enable this script to see if it would then load it more properly. We also have the team up here. We have reports here. I can download a task report, which is basically just an overview of the tasks. We have activity log where we can see what has been done. And then we have integrations. Right now, they only have a Trello integration and I have set it up right now, but I haven't figured out a way how to use this integration. I've only set it up and now you can see I have attached it to this specific project, but there's no way for me to shoot over the tasks. So let's try and go back and see if we can figure that out. So here you can see that we have a task and I would like to be able to take this task and create it in Trello. Right now it is saying that it has created it in Trello. Before I check, I just want to show you that I can also add comments down here to the specific task saying this is now done for instance, and then post the comment here. Now I'll just go to Trello and check whether the task has been created. So as you can see here, it runs completely automatically. So it has created the task in Trello here even with an image, it has created with the text and the title as well, and it has added it in a new list. So it has one list per project. This works very well and it is completely automated. I would like to have some control where I control whether it should go into Trello or not, but right now it is running automatically and I must say that it's just working very well. The way you set up Trello integration is in here where you just go to the settings and then you enable your account, you connect it or you change it in this case. You can see here that they're working on a lot of integrations, which I will also discuss a little bit later in the video in the future section. Now the pricing of WebVisio is very simple. They have two different types of plans and the first one is a free plan where you get some functionality, at least enough to that you can sit and give feedback, but you can't collaborate. So you have to put the feedback on this specific image and then you have to share it at some point or maybe screenshot it. The other plan is a paid plan where you pay eight US dollars per user that you have. This is quite cheap compared to the alternatives, which I will discuss just in a moment. And with this paid plan, you also get all of the functionality everything from team management to integrations and much more. But let's go back to the alternative because the main alternative to WebVisio is Ruddl. And Ruddl is something I have used previously myself. And what I really like about Ruddl is that you can sit and live change the website. So this means that not only can you give feedback, you can also show how you want it to look like. Of course, there are some limitation to what you can do, but you can change colors, you can change the text, you can move it around and much more. So at least you can give a better idea to the designer or the developer how this should end up looking. 
Furthermore, then Ruddle has more integrations, a more modern design. And then last but not least, you can use it for your local host. So if you're a developer or a designer and you sit in Google Chrome and you sit and work with your design or your project, then you can use Ruddle because they have a Chrome extension that allows you to give feedback on local host. And this is really a game changer because this makes it so much easier. The way we have to do it right now with Web Visio is that I have to take a screenshot, upload it to Web Visio, and then I can start commenting on it. So this saves us a lot of time and it just makes it a lot easier to use. So if you're going for the more mature product, then take a look at Ruddle. But if you want a more fast and lean product that might develop into something better in the future, then maybe stay with Web Visio at the moment. Now taking a look at the future of Web Visio, they are first of all working on a lot of integrations. This I'm really happy to see because integrations means automations, which means that we will save even more time. Imagine that you can sit, comment on a design within Web Visio and then automatically create a task in Trello and ClickUp or even in Slack. And this just shows like this entire eco flow of how everything is connected together because they are working on integrations for these three programs at the moment and more in the near future. Then they are also adding a team productivity dashboard. And with this team productivity dashboard, we can see what our team members are doing. So it will be interesting to see how they will really develop this and what the use case exactly will be because they're also working on task deadlines and task time lock. So we can not only set deadlines, but we can also lock the time we spend on a specific comment. I will say that these types of features are good to use, but Web Visio needs to be careful that they are not working too much towards being a project management system, but they need to keep within being able to give visual feedback because a deadline and locking your time is something that we see within project management software and not within visual feedback systems. So let's see how they will develop these features and what the use case will be. Now, after using Web Visio for some time, I really like that I can use multiple tabs for the same project and the same website. And then it's just very easy to use. Two things I really want them to improve is developing a Chrome extension so we can use it for local hosts. And then when it is we load websites, if your website is using lazy load, then it doesn't load your images properly. With a tool like Web Visio, we are really saving time on communication and we just end up with a better product overall. I want to give Web Visio three and a half stars. The core functionality works perfectly, but websites with lazy load doesn't load properly within Web Visio and then I really need local host feedback. That's my review. Thank you so much for watching. Let's catch up on the next one.